Yo, what up, street gods, street vlogs, street doggy the vlog, 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 vlogs. Or, or Kim in the house, or I had some thoughts. Uh, this one is, what do you desire to achieve in life before you kick the can, right? So, Jeff Bateman calls this the regret minimization framework, a very eloquent way to, to describe things. And the general gist is, you know, before you die, spoiler alert, right? Uh, let's say you're lying on your deathbed. What would you regret have not having tried attempted or done? Um, and also like conversely, it's also wise to think like, what will you not regret not having done? So for example, <laughs> and nobody ever on their deathbed is like, I wish I answered all my emails in my inbox or you know stuff like that and actually even more most people on their deathbed I don't think anyone thinks I wish I made more money right um I mean for myself uh, certain aspirations of mine right like I might think like Oh, you know, while I was still alive, I wish I had built this thing or had, you know, attempted this thing. And yeah, I think it's a it's a very important thing to to consider because then we're not wasting time with our our lives. So, one thought I actually had was to waste your time is to just waste your life. And like, like, for example, I'm like, oh man, I had to get all this stupid car smog test stuff ton thing, right? And the biggest downside of it was it took freaking effing forever. I'm like, it took at least like many hours of my life to just essentially figure out how to uh, get my car smog and get the registration, whatever. Like, man, if I just had like a Tesla or electric car, this would be so much easier. Another, um, another reason why I'm pretty bullish on uh, investing in Tesla. So it looks like California's getting more and more popular. It's getting more and more polluted. And, you know, you look at the government and stuff like that. There's so much uh, kind of this move or this trend to make things less polluted and less bad. And so anything that causes emissions, AKA gas cars, or even, even hybrid cars or plug-in hybrid cars, they all produce uh, emissions. You know, getting your car smog checked is a pain in the ass. And also the <laughs> like in barrier and stuff like that, like everyone's stealing catalytic converters off Priuses. So this whole catalytic converter industry, it's all kind of like not so uh, good. So, then the intervention is if you switch to fully electric, at least you don't have to deal with the emissions laws. So another plus one to go all in on uh, Tesla. Um, and also good news, I think they spent what investing what nine billion dollars to build a new plant in Nevada or something. I'm like that's a that's a good investment. Um, and just like uh, it's a gas stations, trying to fill up your gas so dirty and you know, hand sanitized so. Um, I mean, certainly gas electric cars or Tesla is not perfect, but I think it's definitely a step in the, the intelligent direction. Um, it looks like now actually prices to, te uh, to lease a Tesla Model 3 at base level is like pretty cheap. You rent for what? At least for three forty nine dollars 49 like down payment 3500 or something like that. So it looks like most people who have Teslas just lease it, which kind of makes sense because the battery technology is evolving so quickly. So consider the Tesla like a really expensive iPhone, right? It's like, can you imagine being, can you imagine using your iPhone Pro, even your, let's say the newest iPhone Pro, right? Can you imagine using that for the next 30 years? Probably not. At least with gas cars, you could probably drive for another 30 years. Um, you know, don't want to have your Tesla for another 30 years. The battery is gonna probably degrade and the range, whatever. But anyways, so yeah, I think, uh, I would just say with time, life, everything, just try to be like insanely prune your time, your life, your your energies, and only direct it towards the things you truly care for and things that you really want to change the world with.